Hello, I'm Katie. I'm Jules. We are the Ting Tings. And you're watching Billboard.com. I don't think we've ever been aware about or conscious about our style. I mean, obviously, yeah, Katie more than me in terms of she's much more uh, together. <laughs> I think my style's probably closest thing is getting dressed in the dark, but I like people like Karen O and Bjork that most people would be like, my God, they can't wear that. My problem is though, I pick up like statement pieces, like a t-shirt with two giant eggs on the boobs. I need to buy more basics to kind of put with them. Otherwise it's like someone's just vomited like, 300 colours onto me. Everybody loves somebody to I think we buy what we like, you know, I've got clothes by McQueen or Pam Hawk or Isumiyaki. But I don't think we're a fan of like super couture type clothes where I think we're more kind of streety. Maybe it's because what we have to wear to perform on stage has kind of dictated our style in a way. We're so energetic that you can't really wear a dress that's lined or anything like that, so it has to be kind of sportswear almost. So you don't like split your pants. MIA always looks amazing. I'm always jealous to know where she got her clothes from. I even like stuff like Nico though and Edie Sedgwick and all that kind of 60s look as well. So we're a complete mismatch, which is kind of like what our music sounds like as well. It's like 300 things in one. We wanted to write a song which was about you know, the pressure of achieving a goal. You know, there's always this kind of like, we did it in songs and don't let anyone knock it's it down. Almost anti ambition. Yeah, so if you don't get it, it's no big deal. You know, sometimes it's good just to go, oh, we wrote this song from hanging up and without letting it go. And we were hanging around with really bad skaters. And so we took them to the skate park and we just said, just, you're brilliant, just skate. It's very rare we're sat in a studio and kind of go, let's write a song. You know, you, you play drums, I play guitar. It's normally like sat in the back of a car or going, nah, 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 and you come up with something in the phone or, you know, Jules banging on a table. Um, but we love pop music, you know, so I think ultimately we always end up writing songs that are memorable just because they're 90% of songs that we love are like that, even by artists like, I don't know, Radiohead and stuff, they're, they're memorable songs. You don't particularly want to write something that's, you know, you can't remember it 10 seconds later. It's kind of the joy of a song, really, a great pop song, is whistling it walking down the street with a smile on your face, and I think that's what we do. Yeah. 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 Y